a brand new playlist called Motherland Mosh Pit. I don't know what else you guys would want, but this is awesome. Two of the best maps, in my opinion. Uh-oh. Damn it, if he didn't have a shotgun, dude. I just want to talk about skill-based matchmaking because I saw a tweet on Twitter and I was like, I, I keep seeing stuff like this and it's just really annoying. By the way, guys, this isn't the first time I've seen something like this. I feel like I see it quite often now. Talking about how skill-based matchmaking has always been in Call of Duty and I just want to let you guys know that's not really true. Just because a developer said that they implemented skill-based matchmaking like a super long time ago doesn't mean it's true and I, I know it, cr it sounds crazy but guys that developer is just ignorant and or not telling you guys the whole truth let me tell you guys the story of skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty and, got, and tell you what we actually had back in the day now I know not all the Call of Duty fans have played the older Call of Duties basically what would happen is you would join a match based on, on your internet connection and then it would balance the teams called balance team balancing so the good players and the bad players don't completely be on one team you know so i want to call it skill-based matchmaking is more team-based matchmaking and if the developer wants to keep calling it skill-based matchmaking it's not the same skill-based matchmaking we hate in this call of duty so when people complain about skill-based matchmaking being a good thing and it's been in all call of duties that's not true it has not been in all call of duties at least the same one we see in this game and Modern Warfare. Now, I've never thought skill-based matchmaking was a good thing for Call of Duty, and I'm sure no one does. And the only valid excuse people have is that it's been in every Call of Duty. And, and it's just they're so ignorant because of one tweet from a developer, they think it's been in every Call of Duty. I think a lot of people need to start reading in between the lines and not believing just one person. I mean, he is a credible source, but he is really BSing almost everyone on the internet. It's just crazy to me that people will still even defend skill-based matchmaking. It's actually pretty crazy. Guys, comment down below what you think of skill-based matchmaking. Oh my gosh. Comment down below what you guys think about skill-based matchmaking. And if you guys actually genuinely think it's a good thing for Call of Duty. Tell me a legit reason why. Besides the fact that supposedly it's been in every Call of Duty, which is completely untrue. Anyone else want this shotgun? I only have one bullet, better reload. Two bullets. Should suffice! Ugh. That was way too close. Come on. Fell out of here. I'm sorry, dude. This is just too... You know, I have had my annoyances with Call of Duty and shotguns. So it's only fair that I show them why I hate it. Okay, I don't... So I'm just giving you excuses. I'm going in. I don't, I'm not scared anymore. Guys, it actually shows your level now. What's pretty crazy is this new update. You can actually join Modern Warfare through Cold War instead of just quitting the quitting the game and opening Modern Warfare. It's like it's in the same menu. It's pretty cool. Although having two Call of Duties installed in one console is it, like not gonna happen unless you have like like 20 terabytes but you know on pc that's pretty sick and i think it's pretty cool because modern warfare and cold war definitely have separate fan bases so they're kind of trying to bring them all together and i really like that i'm so sorry <laughs> i've died to too many shotguns to care anymore okay you guys don't understand what i've been through okay i've played black ops 3 the brecci was real It's time for my payback and Cold War. I don't know how he's not dead, but. Oh, I dodged in real life. Come on, guys. I literally shot my teammate so it didn't go through him. Stop stealing my kills, scumbags. No! I'm genuinely having a good time with the shotgun. I think this is a bad thing. 
I will not become a shotgunner. Just this one video. Guys, I don't use shotguns. Like, literally, in Modern Warfare, I didn't even level up the shotguns. But I genuinely do like this game, and I want Dark Matter, so... I'm gonna have to use them, eventually, so... Guys, comment down below your greatest shotgun class setup. And don't BS me, I know you people use shotguns, dude. I've died to too many shotguns in this game for, like, not one of you guys to at least use shotguns. But honestly, guys, there's also been a leak with Battlefield 5. Oh, I said Battlefield 5, I meant Battlefield 6. Sorry, guys, Battlefield 5 does not count as a Battlefield for me. So, Battlefield 6 looks really, really good. We're still not sure which, like, era it's in, but if it's in modern, oh... Please run before the attack cho chopper kills me. You scumbag, little rat! Move, teammate! You know what, I'm going in with a shotgun! <laughs> I got him with the shotgun, I don't care. Guys, that's gonna be it. I just wanted to have a quick mat, a couple games with you guys, and just talk about skill-based matchmaking. I don't like skill-based matchmaking, but it's probably gonna stay in Call of Duty forever. So it is what it is. Maybe Battlefield 6 will not have skill-based matchmaking, and that's gonna be insane. But you know, that's wishful thinking. It, You know, who knows? But peace.